Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about one of the new function in a fusion accounts receiver that is mapping sets. Uh, we can call it as a custom SLS also, subledger accounting rules. So here the business use case is, so we need to overwrite the natural account for revenue account when we create a air transactions. But currently it is showing, it is capturing as uh, 41,000 as a natural account from the uh, auto coding rules. So now, as the requirement came from Vijana saying that like, you know, if the transaction is going to create through manual by any of the Vijana users, then it has to overwrite the natural account as 41,100 value. So that is a requirement, 41,100. So this is the requirement. How should we achieve this requirement? So for that, so what are the setups are needed? One is one is create accounting, sorry. One is create mapping sets and account rules and uh, subledger general rule set. So these three are the mandatory we need to define it. So then after we will perform testing at one test case that is creating a transaction and then uh, run create accounting in proper mode run create accounting panel mode. So then we need to notice that we can uh, validate the results it looks like. Okay, so let's get into get into application now. How to create those things. So already I created the mapping sets and everything here. Let me walk through once. Select functional area as financials, receivables, all task, scroll down till end and find minus mapping sets. Yeah. Here already I created this is the page where we can go and create mapping sets. So already I have created one mapping set for this requirement that is TCS new mapping set. So I will explain that what are the things are needed here. So here, so we should mandatorily provide name of the mapping set. So I have given as TCS new mapping set for revenue account as part of the business requirement. And here output type, output type generally we should have three, one is uh, account combination and the segments and then value sets. So now it means that like you know exactly what it is meaning. So on uh, which either you want to modify or overwrite the entire account code combination or you want to modify only one segment value or you want to the entire value set. Currently the requirement is that I want to modify only or overwrite only natural account. So that I have uh, taken as segment here and input source. So input source you have to provide as your transaction source name. There are plenty of the input source are available in the application as RI class given as a seeded things. So based on that, we can pick whichever is suitable for requirement, then we can move ahead. So here as per the current requirement, I have given as a transaction source name and chart of accounts. So under which chart of account structure we want to overwrite the segment values. That is what we need to provide here. Just click on, click on plus symbol and add the current chart of account structure which we have. Once we added that, let me click on it here. Notice it here, we can choose which other thing we wanted and then provide segment value here. So in this case, like I want to overwrite the account so that I have given the account on the top so that it will pick from the values. So now I don't want to see this thing deleted. Okay, and come down. Mapping set. So here I have given uh, transaction source equal to manual. When the transaction is going to create as a manual, then it has to overwrite the current natural account value for the revenue as 41,100 value. 41,000. 100. So that is what my condition given here. 
So just save and close. And notice how all the times status should be as active mode only. Just save and close it. Done. Going back to setups minus account rule. So here also already I created one do view for that. So come down, select or search for that. Prefix I have given as a TCS. TCS is the one. Let's click on edit. And I'll walk through that. So here I given saying that like you know, TCS account new rule for revenue account. But similarly, uh, I have given the chart of account the, which I have given the mapping sets similarly and rule type is segment and which account I am going to do it. That is the account uh, segment. And here rules we have, here we have the plenty of the rules which are the other class given. So account rule, like the understand and formula mapping sets source. So these things we can perform various uh, situations in the uh, real time scenarios whenever needed. And currently our requirement is that Need to override the natural account so that I have already given the mapping set over there and I'm giving the same mapping set rule here saying that TCS new mapping set for revenue account. So that is a we have given the rule name here. And notice here status is always active mode again. Just click on save and close done. Now this is the very critical setup main is sub ledger general entry rule set Let's click on that already i created that previously when uh, sample uh, sub ledger general entry rule set so just edit which already we have right so that we are going to editing here to updating the our new rule set so in this space just focus on this uh, page this entire page will page will control your uh, air transaction accounting line entries. From here itself only, uh, the system will pick all the debit and credit values based on these setups. If you're not providing anything here, the system uh, understand that like, you know, as a default things will get populated by using the, your auto accounting rules. Is something which you given as a custom rules here, as a segment rules, Segment rules, nothing but as a account rules, what we have defined the previous step. So here, the custom, custom, we customized SLA rule for the accounting rule, right? So here, if we see general line, general line rule as a invoice revenue, and it is line type is credit and account. These are the our chart of account st structure segment values. Company, ROB, line of business, account, cost center, product, and intercompany. Okay. So here I want to override my account value. So already I have given the TCS account value here so that it will pick from this accounting rule. So, and likewise, I have given three custom rules here for change the or override the company value and then account value and then cost center value. So these three I have given as a custom things for the Invest revenue line. So once you given that, so you just keep in mind one uh, key point here. Whenever you're making a change or edit or uh, creating new things of the sub ledger general entry rule set, you have it has to be active status only. Just click and save. I'm going back to the home page here. Save and close. And yeah, it is showing as active. It also sometimes it may show as in, you know, inactive or incomplete. In this case, if you see the down right, incomplete. So if it is showing as incomplete, then like system will not be able to create a accounting entries for the transactions. That is the very, very important point to understand. So done, click on done. So now we performed all these three mandatory setups. And then now just update accounting method. So where I can see that here, main is accounting method. Click on that. So here already I have given the previously one thing, just click on edit tab over there. And here under this accounting method, I have made changes only for the accounting receivable sub ledger model only. So here notice we have all the sub ledger uh, models which has been tagged to the this specific ledger. So, okay, 
So close, just done. And here notice invoice. Just click on that rule set. Yeah, this is the page. So previously we given, right? The same thing it is appearing once again here under the accounting method. So now the system can understand easy way says that like this is the line entry has to be derived for the custom rules. So click on done. Now we will perform one test case. So billing, create transactions, business unit, ABC under, let's say ABC application software, tab out, pick all the values are mandatory. And here, description says that with manual invoice creation. So one quantity, $45. Save. So just you can notice now distributions. If you want to go and see the distribution right now, how it is looking the data by using your auto calling rules. So now you notice revenue account is company value 101. Let me pick and paste into here is the revenue account. Revenue account. So this is deriving by using your auto coding rules. Okay, just click on cancel and make it as a completed. Completed and then click on action. Hit account in draft. It got completed. So now you notice this is the my accounting entry got generated. In accounting mode. I mean, this is a draft mode also. So let me run in the final accounting mode as post lecture. Yeah. Now you see this accounting entry got generated the strings. So here notice one thing. See, so by using our mapping sets and account rules, the system again used the custom accounting rule and derived or overread the existing revenue account, revenue account as 41,100. So this is how we can recreate a mapping sets and account rules and associate with the, your lecture. So if you go and look at the transaction accounting entry in the GL, it will be reflecting as this is the core combination for the revenue account. If you see the accounting entry in the subledger model as a receivables for revenue account, this is the your, your accounting entry will be displayed. That is the difference. So always you look at the, uh, the custom SLS will be working as part of the your GL model when you transfer the accounting entries from subledger to GL model. So this is how we can configure the requirements. So the summary of this discussion, so how to set our customized SLA rules by using the mapping sets and account rules and sub-ledger generated rule sets in the phase and accounting receivable module. So these are the steps. And what is the sequence of configurations to define? 
Firstly, we should define journal journal line rules and then mapping sets and accounting rules, account rules, and then subledger journal line rule set and then accounting method AM. Where you can call it as a slab. Slam has nothing but as a subledger. Methods. Method. This is the final as a configuration point of view. So these are the hierarchy in order to define this custom SLR rules in the any of the application, any of the subledger applications. Yeah, that is all for today's class. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe and share and like and uh, can respond to the link if you want any more clarifications or any doubts about any specific topic you can reach out to over the chart thanks for watching once again